Hey gang, it's Ron from ITMeshki.com and in this video I want to talk about how you get experience before you actually land a job. So, as you can tell, the scenery is a little bit different. Hopefully you can see me. I'm trying to give you guys a good uh, backdrop. Um, I'm in uh, San Antonio right now. Um, so hopefully this gives off the right ambiance. But um, getting experience can be one of those things where people think it's a uh, insurmountable tasks, it's going to be difficult, but believe it or not, uh, getting IT experience is a lot easier than you would think. Because a lot of times people discount things that they've done, things that they've been through, things that they do for their current job, right? So somebody may be um, a warehouse worker, right? But every time the printer goes down, their supervisor comes and say, hey man, hey Tony, or hey Jessica, or, hey whoever come fix this printer. So don't discount the things that you've been through and the things that you know. Um, or if you at your local church or at your grandma house, your grandma uh, is trying to watch old episodes of Madlock, uh, Divorce Court or whatever she likes to watch and she needs you to set up her Wi-Fi. Now you may think, oh that's no big deal, everybody knows how to do that. Believe it or not, a lot of people don't know how to do that or they don't have the uh, wherewithal or they're too lazy to really figure it out even though it's you know only a couple uh, Google checks and then you can figure out how to do it but don't discount those things so first place to look for experience is wherever you work wherever you work like I said whether you work at a grocery store whether you work in an office building whether you're a construction worker wherever you are there's some type of IT technology whether it's a voice printing, networking, there's some way, somehow, IT is going to be involved. So one way you can get experience is volunteering for things at your current job. Now, you probably won't get paid anything for this stuff, but at least you'll have that experience. And if you work in a place where there's an IT department, you may have to do stuff before you come into work, you may have to stay late after work, but try and get a close connection with the IT department. What do you guys do? get advice, get tutelage, and maybe get some mentorship. Now, don't go in with high expectations because sometimes people are just trying to go to work. They're not trying to be somebody's savior and they're trying to mentor you and they may kind of brush you off. But if you're persistent, eventually they'll be like, okay, maybe I can use this guy to damn, <laughs> uh, use this guy or this girl to like my workload, right? So just look in those places for experience. So like I said, look at where you work first and if you work with a company that has an in-house, I was about to say S6, military days. If you work into, if you work in a, uh, if you work in a place that has a IT or a um, IT team, you can actually go over there and say, hey, you know, I'm looking into getting the IT. Um, anything I can do, anything you can teach me, you know, I'm willing to learn and I'm a sponge. And then, like I said, just humble yourself and just. Don't expect to get paid, don't, and don't expect to get any thanks. Just, your payment is gonna be your education, all right? That's a lot of times people expect that they should be getting 50, $100,000. Just learn what the hell you need to learn first, and then the money will come, the money will come, all right? So, uh, that's pretty much my biggest thing. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other stuff. My biggest thing is always try and get and pull stuff from where you currently work. Um, if you are unemployed, which I know right now is a is a big problem for a lot of people and if you are unemployed drop in the comments um, if you're unemployed uh, what kind of work you do and what you're looking for hopefully you know somebody will see the comment and be able to look out for you but if you're unemployed you don't have shit else to do anyway so you should be one look for a job and then two trying to learn as much as you can if you're trying to get into IT trying to learn as much as you can uh, doing stuff around the house whether it's troubleshooting computers building computers uh, troubleshooting your Wi-Fi, making Wi-Fi faster, securing your home network, all those type of things can be used as experience as well. So like I said, don't just discount yourself. The first thing, like I said, if you have a job, look at your job for experience. If not, go find that experience. It's a bunch of different stuff you can do on your cell phone, how to secure your cell phone, how to encrypt it, how to encrypt an email, and you can add all those things to your resume. I, I've dealt with encryption. I've dealt with cryptography, I've dealt with networking, I've de dealt with um, security. Pretty much the average person, even though they may not think so, they've dealt with all of those things, all right? So, uh, I gotta get the hell up out of here. 
because I'm actually here for work, not leisure. Well, a little bit of both. You know, I always kind of throw a little bit of leisure in. So anyway, um, hopefully this helped you. Um, you can find experience wherever you look. Um, if you have any other suggestions, any other comments, any other advice, drop it below. Make sure that you comment, like, subscribe. Other than that, I'll see you in class.